Construction on the new Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital is really starting to take shape. In this week's Building Block segment, we have an update on the progress of the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit and why it is so important. Heading up to the fourth floor of the new Children's Hospital. You can see the framework of the new pediatric intensive care unit. Most of the rooms have steel and structural support done. The floor coming together and giving families and patients hope. Families like Eric Clancy and his son Kevin who spent weeks fighting for his life in intensive care at Hershey Medical Center. His injury captured on security video. Kevin fell off an inflatable amusement ride and um, only fell a couple feet. But uh, uh, from the time of the um, uh, accident, he was lifelined here to Hershey, um, had uh, uh, brain surgery within 30 minutes of his arrival. Eric living for weeks at his son's bedside. He was in here for about four weeks and spent much of the time on a ventilator, um, uh, had, had several procedures. His son not able to speak a word. All Eric could do is wait. You felt confident in their ability to deliver the care that they were representing, and that was, that was, that was very settling at the time when there's not much going on that you really can hang on to. The new pediatric intensive care unit giving the hospital another facility to match their care. It includes 16 private rooms and two patient isolation rooms with a ventilation system releasing air from these rooms outside the hospital. So we place a great deal of emphasis on safety because safety is important when children are that sick because uh, you know, provide a safe environment and minimize complications, your outcomes are better. The new pediatric intensive care unit giving doctors and nurses better access to patients and also making it easier for families to stay together. Families will not have to leave the bedside to use the restroom, take a shower. They will be able to stay in the rooms. And the new Children's Hospital is scheduled to open in late 2012. We have a live webcam of the construction on our website. You can also find more information on children's health. Just go to fox43.com.